No, nah, he's not overrated. He didn't have a good series. There's no question about that. You get a game like from DeAndre Hunter, like you got last night. Trey played better. They win these games. Uh, I think a, a game two, Bogdanovich goes for 29. If Trey plays better in that game, they possibly win that game. He look. The Miami Heat turned their focus to Trey Young and says, "We're not going to allow you to do what you did to Philly last year, which is lead this team uh, to, to an upset." over the number one seed. That's not going to happen. And for the most part, Skip, they did a great job. They can do something that very few teams can. They can throw a lot of people at him and fatigue him out. You mentioned he's a, he's not a big man. So when you throw Strauss or you throw, even though Jimmy, but, Jimmy uh, Butler and Kyle Lowry didn't play last night, they still have a plethora of bodies that they can throw at him to fatigue him, kind of like what they're trying to do with Chris Paul. Pick you up 94 feet, hey, make, you, make it tough for you to get in your offense, and by the time you do get into your offense, Skip, you, it's late in the shot clock. But give give Miami credit, Skip. They're the one team was in the play-in. They had to win two games. And in those two games against Charlotte, he was 24 and 11, and then he goes on the road to Cleveland, and he goes 38 and 9. So one series does not change my opinion, unless how much credit were you giving him last year for getting his team to the Eastern Conference Finals? I don't think he's overrated, because if you think he's overrated because they, got, they only won one game, I hate to see what you think about the other guy that got swept. Mm. <laughs> I hate to see what you think about him. Somebody, I hate to see what you think about him. Somebody's trying to change the subject. Hey, no subject. Somebody's got no ammo left. No skill. Did we not just watch him last year? Average 29 and 10 and beat the beat the Knicks. Mm. We just watched him go 29 and 11 and beat the Sixers. Mm. In the first game against the Milwaukee Bucks, the team that eventually won the championship, he goes 48 and 11. Mm. And so now after one series, we're going to just throw all of that away. And he was an all-star this year. And he averaged 28. And he averaged nine assists. So after one series, we're going to say, oh, Trey Young's overrated now. And Atlanta was the nine seed this year. Yes. Is that not underachievement, oh. under expectations? They were, they were in the play-in? Mm-hmm. Are we, we're, we're two of them. We're, is he one of the most skilled players that we've ever seen? Is he arguably a transcendent player? I just need to, I need to get you on record. We're not talking about Kadun. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. That's all I want to hear you say. We're talking about Trey Young, and I will preface my remarks by saying I like Trey Young off the court. He does not like me, and I don't care. He has called me lame, and I'm going to call this series from him lame and lamer because that's what <laughs> it got to be. I'm sorry. Back to the Philly series last year. In Game 7, he shot 5 of 23 because Ben Simmons just said, I'll just take him out of the game, and he did. It wasn't a Trey Young game. It was everybody else, and in the end, it was a Ben Simmons won't shoot free throws game. But still, in seven games, mm -hmm. Skippy averaged 29 yeah. on 11. Okay. My problem is he's just too little. And when I say overrated, it, it's because everybody else is rating him on the superstar level. You, you've drawn it back to just he's a star. Skip, you – no. Everybody's – when somebody has a great game, oh, he's superstar, super, super – no. There's levels to stardom, mm -hmm. and then you got that elite, that KD, yep. that LeBron. Skip, there's levels to this thing. Uh, 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 Luka, I think Luka is a superstar. Right. I think Jason Tatum has got his foot in the door about to walk into the room of superstardom. I I'll give you foot in door. I I'll give you that. Yes. But I'm going to... To finish on Trey, he's too little because I don't think he's more than 5'11". <laughs> and, and it's not like he's Chris Paul or Kyle Lowry, they're stout and right, strong, right. And, and he's skinny, yeah, he's and, and he, yeah. he, he, can't, he, he can't muscle you. He can't create no. space with his physique, no. right? And he shoots way too many threes for my taste and way too many logo threes because they're sensational. When he makes one, the crowd goes wild, right? right? And finally, he's way too turnover prone. He led this league this year, overcame Russell Westbrook down right. the stretch right. to lead the whole league in turnovers, and he's now leading the playoffs in turnovers with 30. Right. He had 30 assists in this series and 30 turnovers. Right. That will not work. No, it's, it's got to be 60 yeah, to 30. <laughs> it's, just, it's just hard to overcome. And then you brought up Luka. I'm sorry, the more I watch little Trey, you call him Ice Trey, I call him My Stray, but the more I watch him, I say, Atlanta could have had Luka. And you said it's a cultural fit in Atlanta. Right. And I do not disagree with that. That's a bingo. <laughs> and it's yeah. a cultural fit in Dallas. Right. Bingo. Yes. But on just sheer. No, Luka's a better player. Like 
dynamism, you know, yeah. just, just the ability to lift a franchise. Yeah. yeah. Luca's just way better. Yeah. Luka. So Atlanta has to second guess this and say, we should have just sucked it up and taken the white guy, right? They, I mean, they should have skipped. Yeah. Look, Luca's bigger. He can score better. He can rebound better. He can assist just as good, if not better. So there's really no downside. And both of them, you don't like either one of them because you think both of them shoot the three too much. Way too much. <laughs> but Luca is, he's dialing it down. Yes. And he is, he, he's, he, he's got such high IQ. He's starting to figure out, I can do this and they can't stop that. Right. So I'll do this. Right. I'll just get it in the lane because he's got this little hezzy move in the lane that yeah. nobody can time <laughs> up and he can get to the rim on anybody. Yes. It doesn't matter how tall you are. He will get to the, oh, I'm looking at Trey now, but, yeah. but Luca will get to the rim. Well, you saw him against uh, Rudy Gobert, Skip. He's like, going at Rudy Gobert. He tried to dunk on white side. He tried to dunk on white side. Yeah. He's like, yeah, hey, I, I belong here. And obviously, if he can get in your lane anytime oh, yeah, he so yeah, desires, so. then he'll pick your defense to yes. shreds. Because if you give him those three point snipers, yes, like, and they got a bunch of them. Because right. Brunson usually just goes along for the ride. And then when Luca was out, he had to just take over and drive right. the train. Mm -hmm. But if they have three point snipers, they will just shoot you right, right out of the gym because they're going to get open looks like crazy. Right. So back to Trey. For, for this series, he shoots 32% from the floor. It's it's just horrendous. That's he, He's 30, I'm sorry, 22 of 69. That's 37 missed shots in, in just five games. But here's the killer. From three, he's seven for 38. That's 18%. Yeah, that wasn't good it's, enough. It's just, come on, seven enough. for 38. And, and then you go 30 and 30 with turnovers to assists. And it adds up to you had one flash down the stretch of game three, three. at home yeah. when he finally, he, he was shooting it poorly, but he finally made a logo three right. that ignited the crowd. Right. And then it, uh, on the game winner, he got downhill on PJ and took him right into the lane and shot his little running floater yeah. Yeah. and got it up and it bounced all around the rim right. and he got some friendly bounces and it fell. Well, okay, I give you that. And I do think Trey's got a clutchness to him. In fact, I'll give you this. I think he has a little more clutchness to him than Luca does. Just a, a, a little bit more. I like him with the ball in his hands with the game on the line. The problem is you, you can't get enough games on the line with him as your best player. Right. If you have Luka, you're just going to go more places. Well, Skip, your ceiling is way higher. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with that. But also, Skip, you mentioned his size. You bring the double team with Luka, Luka can see over it. You bring the double team with, 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 at Trey, he got Luka between lost. your legs. He's lost. Yeah. So uh -huh. th th that's the advantage. I, but, but, Skip, I still even with that being said, Luca is a better player. Luca is a superstar. But to say Luca is a superstar doesn't mean that Trey Young is under uh, overrated. For the simple fact, Skip, nobody thought they would. I thought they would win in one game. And I told you, I said, Skip, they're going to win one game back in, in Atlanta. The it used to be the highlight factory. They call yep. it the State, State Farm Arena. Yep. But he'll get one game. That's all you could ask for because they was in the play-in tournament. It wasn't like the difference is the Nets, Skip, although they were in the play-in, people picked the betting favorite in that series were the Nets. Yep. Nobody picked Atlanta to win more than a game off the Miami Heat because of these depth. They, uh, Struess can guard him. P.J. Tucker can guard him. Vincent can guard him. All these, uh, Caleb Martin can guard him. And just think, they didn't even play Kyle Lowry and Jimmy Butler. Now, I will say this. This is a game you got to win. Two of the dogs are out. You lose by three. If Trey has a halfway decent game, let's just say for the sake of argument, Skip, instead of 2 of 12, he's 5 of 12. Mm. Instead of going 0 for 5, he's 1, 2 for 5. Yep. That's, a game, that's, that's a game that he's going to have to try to find. He's going to have to figure out how to win these type of ball games, a game like this, when two of their best players are out. This is where he's like, you know what? I, I, I know I've been playing bad. I know what I'm shooting from the field. I know what I'm shooting from the three. I'm going to win this. We're going to win this game tonight, guys. That is correct. Remember, game four, shockingly to me, because I picked Miami to win the East, there's no Kyle Lowry. And I'm right. thinking, uh-oh, you got a bad hamstring pull because it sounds right. like not good. Right. Okay? So he's gone for game four, and you can't win that one. And then game five, last night, there's no Kyle Lowry and no best player right. on the team because I told you something about Jimmy Butler. He turns into a playoff superstar. He's not a superstar during right. the regular right. season. But they're sitting over there trying to coach. And I'm saying, in the starting lineup, you got Victor Oladipo, and I'm a big fan. In fact, I picked Miami. I told you this right here sitting in these chairs, that I like Victor coming off the bench in case you need him. 
and they needed him. So he's right. in the starting lineup. And Gabe Vincent is in the starting lineup for Jimmy Butler last night. To your point, that's where little Trey has to say, I'm sorry, we're just going to win this game. Yeah. And they had their chances because DeAndre Hunter is turning into the best player on their team. And yeah. he had 35 and he had 18 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, but you only got two points from Clint Capella. And you got seven points from John Collins. Yep. John Collins just got $20, $25 million a year. He needs to give you more than that. Capella's making $20 million a year. Yep. Skip, that man gave you two points and, six re and eight rebounds in 20 minutes. Capella. Yeah. He's got some knee issue, you know, like a sprain or something, but well, he, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, I, that, I got that's it. Not, that's not good enough. And remember, he led the NBA in turnovers this right. year. And if you're going to play him at the point, you have to live with those. Yeah. Because he, he'll he'll do the spectacular occasionally right. that will ignite your team in the crowd. Well, the thing is, Skip, you said he was 30 for 30, 30 turnovers, 30 assists, where in the regular season, he's like nine assists a game mm. and averaging four and a half. Yep. Turnovers the game. So you can live with two to one. You can't live with one to one. No, you cannot. And so that's what, and like, and like you said, Skip, he is a small guy, but I don't think he's overrated. I think he's a star player. I think he's going to make all, more all star teams uh, down the line. I just don't know if they're ever going to be good enough with just him to be what a lot of, like Luca. I know he's not Luca, Skip. He's not going to be able to, like, Luca got his team to third. I think they're the third seed. I don't see Trey Young getting Atlanta Hawks to be the third seed in the East. So would you conclude Atlanta made a mistake? Yeah, I mean, all things be yeah, you you should have taken Luca. But I understand why they took why they took Trey why they took Trey and, 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 uh, and, and Dallas was like more than happy to more, take Luca. More than happy. Yeah. Yep. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.